Hi everyone, and welcome back to another video. In this tutorial, I'm gonna be showing you how you can create these abstract lines with fluid animation, directly in PowerPoint. So let's jump straight into it. As usual, we're gonna be starting this off with a blank presentation. So we go to File, New, Blank Presentation, right click, Layout, and choose Blank. Firstly, let's create the lines. And to do that, we choose Curve from the shapes in PowerPoint. So I will click here to start, then move the mouse, click again, and as you drag it down, you can see it creates the curve. And to finish, you can press return, and there's our curved line. It can be anything you want, it's just an idea, so you can create some custom shapes and custom designs that look great on your slides. If you want to change the curve after you've finished it, you can always right click, choose edit points, click on any point, and then use these Bezier handles to adjust the curve as you want. Let's now format this line and get it looking 3D. And to do this, we'll click on the line, right click and choose format shape. I'm going to make this 50 point wide and give it round caps. These are off the screen on this particular design, but it's a nicer way of looking at it with the round caps in case you want to use the ends. Now I'm going to select gradient line, drag off these two that I don't want. I'm going to quickly paste in the colors that I want to use for this, but you can choose any color that you think looks good. So I'll click the first gradient stop, go to color, eyedropper and pick the color that I want to use. Then the second gradient stop and do the same thing again. And under direction, I've chosen the second option, which is linear down, but you can choose any direction you think looks good in your design. Now let's go in and add the 3D effect. And to do that, we choose effects from the format shape option, go to 3D format, and under where it says top bevel, I'm going to change that to 25 point and 25 point. The reason I've selected 25 point for each of these is because the line is 50 point, and if I choose 25 point for the width and 25 point for the height, that gives it a nice smooth rounded look. The default material and lighting that PowerPoint has added has made it look a bit too shiny for my liking in this particular design. So I'm just going to click on material and take it down from warm matte to matte. Then we'll click on lighting, and I'm going to choose the second one in, which is balance, as I feel that gives it a softer look, but again, it's down to personal preference, whatever you think looks good. And there's our first line. I'm happy with that. So now let's duplicate it to quickly make the others. So I can hold down control and shift and drag this down. And then right click on it, choose center back. And now let's choose the new colors for this line. We'll go to our gradients and I'll pick the other colors. Now, control and shift and duplicate this line and send it to the back. And then just drag it into whatever position you think looks good. I'm just going to select all these and move them up a bit. And while they're all selected, I can hold down control and shift and drag them to make my second copy. Put these wherever I want. These are all abstract, so just put them in whichever position you think looks good. And to quickly change the formatting on them, I can click on the pink one, which is this one, press Ctrl Shift C, and then click on the yellow one and apply it. Ctrl Shift C to copy. Control shift V to apply it. Looking good. Now let's add the background. Right click, format background, gradient fill. We can go with that, but I used a blue one. So I'll pick up the color and pick up the second color. Nice. Now let's add the text. For this, I just use Poppins Black. at 88 point
aligned it to the middle and made it white. So there's our abstract lines. Now let's add the animation using the morph transition. So we'll click on the slide, press Ctrl D to duplicate, then type in the new text and center it. We can then set the transition to morph. And I'm going to move these slightly. And this will be the end position of the animation. You can put these wherever you want. It's whatever you think looks good. And because they're using the morph transition, it's easy to modify them by just dragging them at a later date if you wish. So I'm going to go with something like that. And we'll just check that's working by running it from the beginning. Looking good. I had mine as a slightly slower animation, so I chose six seconds for the duration because I feel that gives a nice effect. So let's run that from the beginning. Nice. Now let's pick the other colors and you'll see that the morph transition will automatically fade between the colors in a really nice way. So I'm now gonna choose a different color for this first one. Then a blue for the second one. And then we'll play that to check that works. And I'm going to make the end color of this one any darker version of this. So I'll just take the brightness down a bit in this case. That's looking good. I can press Control Shift C on this one to apply it to this one with Control Shift V. And the same again for the blue that I want to add onto this one and this one. Control Shift C again on the pink, Control Shift V. A quick way of applying the formats and the colors easily. Nice. And you can move these any way you want. For example, I could duplicate this again. I could select these. Move them down on this one. And by making little adjustments to them individually, you can get a nice, smooth, fluid looking effect. So we'll just play from that second slide, show how easy you can move these around to get a really nice, smooth, fluid animation. Using these tools are a great way to get some individuality into your designs. If you'd like to download the source files for any of these tutorials, check out my Patreon link in the description. Thanks very much for watching. I hope you enjoyed the video. If you'd like to see more, hit subscribe and I'll see you in the next one.